Paul, thanks for joining us. Uh, I suppose for, for the neutral, it would be a pulsating cup tie. For yourself, what's the verdict after that 90 minutes? Well, obviously, to concede so late on is frustrating. I, I'm not pretending anything other than I thought Torquay deserved their equaliser. They kept us uh, pinned in for half an hour. I just thought that when, when, we, when the sun was shi shining, make hay. We had plenty of opportunities first half to have the game out of sight and not the enthusiasm, enthusiasm out of the opposition. I just didn't think we pulled the trigger. We didn't cross it quick enough. We didn't pull the trigger quick enough. And we, we got ourselves in really good positions. So that's my frustration. And then to go 2-0 up, um, you then should have, you know, a bit of calm and control in the game, what I was hoping for, obviously. Um, and then to, you know, get a man sent off, give away a penalty in, in like, windy, wet conditions. Same for both teams, by the way, but... Uh, and it made it a real random cup game and they asked a lot of questions of us made us defend a lot of crosses uh, which we defended some of them very well some of them need to work on but um, and in the end the, the pressure sort of told in the last 30 seconds but I think it um, unfortunately sums, it, sums us up that we just haven't got enough game nouns that with 30 seconds to go we have a free kick we keep it in play we give a free kick away uh, they come up the other end and, and the rest is history so um, so it's disappointing uh, hugely disappointing it's another fixture that we don't need cash getting a suspension we definitely don't need so yeah so adding all that up it's been a, a pretty poor day at the office when at one stage it was looking like a comfortable day After the Morecambe game we spoke about making life easier for yourselves uh, again today a, a prime example really because you're in total control penalty and red card changes the whole complexion of the cup tie all of a sudden the crowd are up and it just feels like those little moments you just need to do that little bit more to have things in your hands a little bit more would that be yeah, a fair well, assessment well yeah well as soon as goals change games don't they so you know as soon as we go 2-0 we think here we go and then to concede and get a player sent off and you have to change your shape you go you have to go one up top unless you want to just play three in the middle but then you've got to get down the outside and you've got to cross it so look we just got to eradicate the mistakes. If I could take out of all the penalties that we've conceded, we'd be absolutely smoking it. Um, and I'm not saying we've had as much control in the games as I would like, but you can build on it. But we just keep like shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit. And, and today is um, another one of them games where we're now going to have another fixture that we um, don't want, but we're still in the hat. And um, so in that respect, I suppose it's a positive. But it's just a disappointing day that you know we just keep pressing the self-destruct when we're in such a comfortable position. I know it might be a little bit difficult at the moment, but were the positives that you, you saw out there from your side that you'd like to see? I know Will Asula got two goals, but were there other elements that you feel, yep, there's something that we can start to build on there in the long term? Or is now not the time to be talking about that? But if we'd have won 2-1, I'd still have the same face. I still don't think we had enough control. Uh, they asked a lot of questions of us, and in fairness, uh, with better finishing from them, it, it, it could have been we could have been out of the tie. So... You know, I said to the lads before the game, like, what am I going to learn about you lot today? What will I know about you after the game? And I've learned a few things that are pleasing and I've learned a few things that aren't. And we need to have a harder edge to our game when things aren't going well. Look, it's easy to play football when you've got the ball all the time and you're in the final third and all that. But, you know, when teams ask you questions, you've got to stand up. And for the majority of the time we did, but there's moments in that game, second half, where we might have let a runner go, didn't challenge or whatever so they're the frustrating things for me and they're the things that like you win football games because you have the ball but you've got to get the ball and you've got to stop the opposition as well it's just it's not just about finishing and crossing and set pieces every part of the game every facet of the game is essential to victories and at the moment we just haven't got enough ticks in enough boxes for me to um, you know take a real step forward we're going to have another you know another in not injury issue but suspension issue and it's like it's just <laughs> disappointing we just couldn't come here today, get the game out of sight, 3-0, make changes, rest them for Wednesday, no suspensions, no injuries, move on to the next. Uh, it feels like I've run over a cat or a magpie, whatever it is. So that, that's the frustration part, but you know, we'll try and show the lads what we think. I don't, like, I don't say I've got all the answers, I can only say as I see it. And I just think that today at t times we just let ourselves down. And it's back home, a day of training on Tuesday and then... Liverpool on Wednesday it just never stops at the moment does it it's constant nope um, no it doesn't um, yeah, obviously I take this opportunity to thank the fans who came uh, brilliant the ones I saw in the town this morning and 
for staying behind the team and clapping the team off because I know it must have hurt them to concede in the 95th minute so I thank him for that And th but then yeah we go again Wednesday and like, you know the lads are going to have to play uh, significantly better but it'll be a different sort of game obviously so um, you know the lads can look forward to that and the fans can look forward to that but it is what it is we need to play that game hopefully get through without any issues uh, to allow us to uh, to perform MK on the Saturday thanks Paul thanks mate thank you